Hi guys, so I'm back again with another video and today I have five New Year's Eve designs for you. Five! Yes, you're hearing me right. Five different designs. So this is going to be a long video, so I'm not going to bore you any longer. I just wanted to say I hope you really enjoyed Christmas or Hanukkah or, you know, the holidays. And well, let's jump right into the video, shall we? So we're going to apply base coat to all of our nails to protect them. And yes, I blurred out my ring finger right here because I have a really nasty paper cut. So I just blurred it out whenever it was necessary in the video. I don't want to gross you guys out. So, okay, we can move on. So then I applied a black base color to all of my nails, except for my thumb. On my thumb, I applied two coats of a sheer pink polish because we're going to do a French tip gradient thing. And also, yes, this is a little bit blurred out because my thumb just looks the roughest of all my nails. So yeah, just putting it out there. So I'm going to start off with my thumb because it's the ugliest to watch, so we'll get that out of the way. So I applied two thin coats of a sheer pink polish to create a French tip design. So I chose a silver holographic glitter for this and I applied one coat of it regularly up to the middle of my nail. So then I grabbed a makeup sponge and applied the glitter to it and we're going to sponge it on the top of the nail to get it a bit more opaque there. That way we create a nice gradient. And once you're happy with it, you just apply a glossy top coat and you're done. You're totally ready for New Year's Eve. Woo! Party! Party! Okay, let's move on to the next nail, which is my pointer finger. So there's already a coat of black polish on top of it and then I'm going to put another coat of black polish on top and then I'm going to use two magnetic nail polishes gorgeous by the way gorgeous and I'm just going to apply them while the black is still wet so I can make the colors blend a little bit into each other and then we're going to hold the magnet above it and the best part of magnetic nail polish is you can just not mess it up it will always look good and you can go back in wherever you want and wherever it's needed and then just hold the magnet above it again and it will still look fabulous. The beauty of magnetic nail polishes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And then once you're happy with it, we're going to apply top coat on top because I wanted to take it a step further just to make it a little bit more festive. So. Once it's dry, I'm going to apply two um, nail vinyl stripe thingies. I'm using the thicker ones. So then I'm going to use this beautiful flaky gold nail polish and I'm going to apply it to a makeup sponge and we're going to apply it onto the nail in between the vinyls. I sponged about two coats of this on and it looked so pretty. So then I peel off my vinyls. Oh my god, that's so crooked. That is so crooked. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to do. So I'm just cleaning up around the nail and I'm going to make it myself a little bit more difficult even. We're going to freehand on some black lines. I don't know why I did this, but I thought it was missing something and I felt like this would be a good idea. But hey, I did pretty well. A little applause for myself right now. Yay! And then I applied top coat on top to smooth it all out. Up to the next design. We're going to apply top coat on my middle finger as well and also on my ring finger and my pinky because we're going to apply nail vinyls and do a gradient. So I like it all smooth. So on my middle finger we're going to do a triangle kind of thing. I don't have any names for any of these designs to be honest. If you hadn't noticed it yet. Whatever, it's a triangle. 
let's just all take our time while doing this. Two hours later. Yes, we did it. And just in between this, reuse your makeup sponges, please. Look at what I'm doing here. I'm cutting off the used bit and then I'm moving on. Because otherwise, I'm going to need 20,000 sponges for this video. Okay, so moving on, we're going to make the flaky triangle. And I'm using my all-time favorite nail polish for this. This is this flaky nail polish with holographic glitters in them and it's just amazing. So I'm going to apply that to a makeup sponge and I'm going to just sponge it on in between the triangles. And again, I can be so messy with this because I got so much space. Now the best part, peeling off the vinyls and look at that beautiful triangle. It's so gorgeous. So just cleaning up a little bit around the cuticle and then we're going to make it even more festive because who doesn't want more glitter? I know I do. So I'm going to use the silver glitter polish I used on my thumb earlier. I'm gonna use a thin striper brush and I'm just gonna outline the triangle. There's a lot of freehand action going on today. It was pretty scary, I have to admit. So once I was happy with my amazing freehand skills, I applied a layer of top coat. This one is by far my favorite. Okay, so moving on to our ring finger, we're going to do a half moon design, or how do they call it? So we're going to grab a French tip vinyl and I'm going to apply it to the bottom of my nail because we're going to fill in the bottom half to get that nice crisp moon design thing. But first I'm going to apply liquid latex around that part because it's gonna get messy. So then I'm grabbing my makeup sponge and applying again this gold flaky glitter nail polish that I used on my pointer finger earlier. Yep, that already went through shit. But no worries, we're going to fix that later. So I just applied some black polish on top of the glitter. So I decided that I should probably put the nail polish on just using the brush. And well, that worked as well, so why not do that? So then we're going to peel off the vinyl thing and also the liquid latex. And then I'm cleaning up with my brush and acetone around the cuticle. And then to finish it all off, we're going to apply another layer of glossy top coat. I feel like that's all we're doing in this tutorial, but okay. Moving on to the last and final finger, my little pinky. And I already applied liquid latex around my cuticle, which I forgot to film. And for this nail, we're going to make a black and gold glitter gradient, a vertical one, fancy as fuck. So we're going to apply the gold and the black to a makeup sponge and we're just going to apply it to the nail. These polishes are beyond gorgeous, by the way. And I applied about two coats, I think, of this to the nail to get it nice and opaque. And this is probably my second favorite of these five nail designs. But they're all gorgeous, right? Right? Okay, so then I applied a final layer of glossy top coat and then I was done. So I guess that's it for this video. Please let me know what you think of this video, if you like this kind of video. And also let me know which one is your favorite of my designs. I'm really curious to know. So yeah, I guess that was it for today. I wish you all a very, very happy new year and I will see you next year. Bye.